In this problem, the motion of a mass on a spring is modelled by the differential equation d2x by dt squared is equal to minus 9x, where x is the vertical displacement of the mass at time t. Part A, find the general solution of the differential equation. OK, so we've got d2x by dt squared. I'm going to add the 9x to both sides, and that's going to be equal to 0. So the auxiliary equation would be m squared plus 9 is equal to 0. So m is going to be equal to plus or minus 3i. So this is our part a here. So given that, that means that x is going to be equal to, if we've got plus or minus 3i, we're going to have c1 cosine of 3t plus c2 sine of 3t. And so that's the general solution of my differential equation. Part B, find the particular solution given that initially x equals 0.3 and dx by dt is equal to 0. So, because it tells me that initially x is equal to 0.3, that means that when t is 0, x is 0.3. So when t is 0, x is 0.3. So we're going to get 0.3 is equal to, if t is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so I'll get c1, and sine of 0 is just 0. So c1 is equal to 0.3. Now, I need to find dx by dt in order to do the next bit. So I need to differentiate this. So we would get minus 3 c1 sine of 3t plus 3 c2 cosine of 3t. So initially, dx by dt is 0. So that means that 0 is equal to, well, I know what c1 is, but sine of 0 is 0, so that's gone. Cosine of 0 is 1, so I get 3 lots of c2. So that implies that c2 is equal to 0. OK, so that means that, therefore, x is equal to c1, which is 0.3, cosine of 3t. OK, so that's it. There isn't that sine of 3t part on there. Write down the period and amplitude of the motion. So the amplitude is the 0.3, because it's going between minus 0.3 and 0.3. The period, cosine usually has a period of 2 pi, which has been stretched factor one third parallel to the t-axis, so that would be 2 pi over 3. Then part D, sketch a graph of the solution. So the vertical axis is x, the horizontal axis is t, so we're going to have the curve looking like this. One's not particularly good, but OK. Um, and that's 0 0.3. That's minus 0 0.3. So I'm just going to do one oscillation. And that's 2 pi over 3. So that's pi over 3. So that's going to be pi over 6. And that's going to be um, 3 pi over 6, which is pi over 2. OK. So that is my sketch.